Hey everybody, I want to give you a, an update on where we are, and um, I want to specifically um, say thank you to uh, to Joe or Nunn, that's our friend John from Arkansas. Um, he gave me some, some really good feedback, which I never really thought about, and um, really, really smart, actually, but uh, I want to share it with you. So, you know, John said, hey, um, you've, got a, you've got a lot of videos under your belt, but you're moving the camera around too fast. It's really hard to follow what you're doing. So you need to just slow down and uh, make it more easy for everyone to see. So I think um, I think he's right on, spot on. And um, I appreciate the fact that he, he told me that because that's that's exactly true. And um, and I appreciate the fact that he uh, felt comfortable enough to tell me that. And I, John, I appreciate it. So anyway, let's talk about um, where we are here. So um, when I left you last, um, we were talking about on the schematic, this area right here. Okay, and you'll see, let me get my pointer, okay, and you'll see we were talking about this, um, this tuning capacitor A1, and that there was a red wire that comes here from T1, right, and then there's a wire that goes to the grid cap of the 57 tube, and um, we were, you know, we were saying, like I said, is it a grid cap, how does it connect? Well, I've done a little bit of research on it, and I'm going to tell you what I came up with. So you'll see here that A1 goes to ground, it comes up here, goes to T1, but there's also a piece that comes here. Um, I've taken a look at, uh, at the schematic, and I've done a little bit of research, and I'll tell you what I think I've come up with, and then we'll take it from there. So let's go over to the chassis. Okay. So the wire um, that, that we're talking about here, let me pull it up here. So um, the wire that goes to A1, I've actually run it down in the bottom of the chassis. So I'm bringing it up here just to show you. I'm going to have to lift this cover off when I actually connect it, which I'll do uh, this weekend. But basically what happens is this wire goes right here to the tuning capacitor. Okay? Let me zoom in there so you can see that. That's right there to the tuning capacitor. Okay, so when we look on the schematic, which I'll turn up again here, the red wire that we're talking about that's coming up from the chassis is right here. And it goes right there to the tuning capacitor. Okay, now um, there's obviously going to be a wire that goes to ground right here, and there's going to be one that goes to the grid cap, right? So let's take a look at the chassis again. So what you'll see here is that the other side of A1 has a connection right here, okay? So basically, when we connect the, uh, the red wire to A1, um, this is going to be where the grid cap goes. And the grid cap is going to be on the 57 tube, which is right here. So we're really what we're going to do is we're going to run a wire from here. It's going to come up. And when we put this tube in place right here, you'll see that there's a hole that the grid cap is going to go through and then connect to the top of the 57. That's exactly how we're going to handle this. So we're going to come out through A1 here to the 57 tube. Okay, you following me? That's exactly how we're going to handle that. Um, the ground that comes from here, that comes from this tuning capacitor, uh, which is, again, on the schematic, right here, you can see that is going to come from connecting the actual tuning capacitor to the chassis. It's already there, so it's connected, right? This tuning capacitor is bolted to the chassis. There's no rubber washers holding it up. It's simply just bolted on. See the screw right there? So essentially, this thing is already grounded. So that's the mystery of the schematic, at least the way I understand it, is that we're going to do a wire here to the grid cap, we're going to connect this wire that comes up from the chassis to the other side of A1, which is right there. Okay, so that solves that mystery. We've also installed uh, this. Um, we've also installed T1 here, obviously. So that's in place. We've got our volume switch, our on-off switch in place. We've got it mounted correctly. We've got a nice little tie wrap here. It comes up under the can. And looking at the schematic. That's this red wire right here that goes to the volume control, okay? So that's in place. Let's flip it upside down for a second. 
So as far as what has to be done, let's talk about a little bit about what my plan is going to be for the weekend. So I've got the wires coming out of the bottom of the chassis for both the power and for the volume control. Okay. So those need to be connected and I'm probably going to need to put a terminal strip here for that. Originally, uh, when the radio was manufactured, they did have a, a terminal block there, um, which uh, I won't put back in obviously. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's right here. And they had this mounted on that little hole right there. Okay, and they had a screw going through and they had everything connected to here for the power and for the volume. And uh, we're gonna do away with that and put something a little more modern there. So that's one thing I'll be doing. I'm also gonna be connecting T1. So here's the wire, the ground wire from T1. And then this red one that's gonna go to the tuning capacitor we just spoke about is gonna come out the top of the can when we get done. We're also um, going to be connecting the power leads. So this is the, uh, the primary winding that connects to the power cord. And we've got one that's got a red stripe right there. And we've got a, a, red, a white one that's gonna connect up here to these power wires. All right, so that's gonna be on this terminal block that I installed up here. And then after we do that, we're gonna continue to install some of these other components. So we've got, um, we've got T2 that we have to deal with still. And then we've got uh, a number of resistors and, and capacitors that we need to put in place. One last thing I wanna show you is in the last video, I was talking about Bart and how he called out this uh, A5 variable capacitor, uh, tuning capacitor that we have in place. And what I said was that we were going to connect this red one here, okay, which goes to the um, which goes to the plate of the second detector, right? So we have this wire here from A5 to the plate of the second detector. And what I said in the last video is that this side of it's going to go to ground. It's not necessarily true. This side here is going to come back all the way here to T3, to this winding right here. So I need to connect that back to T3, okay? And I'll do that as well. So um, that's uh, that's where we are. So we've got we've got one side going here. We need to have the other side going here, and that's uh, that's how we're going to handle that that tuning capacitor. There is another tuning capacitor on here which we'll get to, but for now um, that's the game plan. And again, I'm going to make sure that I keep the camera a lot more steady so you can follow along. I'm not going to rush, and I'm going to make it a little easier for you to follow. But all in all, I think this uh, radio is coming together. My plan for the weekend is to get all of this connected right here, is to get all of this connected, and then it's going to be to work on uh, right here, this, the screen grid, which comes out here, comes across, and then comes back up to T3. And then if I, uh, if I get lucky, I'll also com complete the other side of the speaker socket which is really just a couple of resistors which connects up to this branch here, okay? So that's going to be the plan. I did confirm, by the way, that this dot right here is the grid cap, so that's good. So we've gotten that done. And then, um, and then we're just going to continue to connect uh, things. We've got A3, which is part of the uh, tuning capacitor. We're going to do that. And um, we're going to get this thing in good shape, and I'll, I'll show you on the schematic. On, on the drawing, excuse me. You'll see here on the tuning capacitor, they've got A1 right here to the grid cap. So what I told you earlier is correct. It goes right here. Um, you'll see that I have A3 and A2, and those will correspond to uh, places under the chassis. Obviously, I have another grid cap coming out of here. So that's how I know that I've actually looked at the schematic correctly with this one, going to the grid cap. And that's where we are. Um, Let's see, anything else of interest here? I don't think so. I think we're good. And there's a there's a pictorial of the blue antenna and the black round coming out of the back. And if you remember, I ran those wires coming out of the back of the unit uh, in a previous video. So that's where we are. Um, I'm gonna be busy this weekend uh, getting some of this stuff connected and then I'll report back with the progress of where we are. So there's no, um, there's no uh, orange to mark off today. Just wanted to explain where we are and make sure that uh, I pay more attention to the videos because I think that's important. Anyway, um, happy Friday, and I hope everyone has a really great weekend. I'll be posting something as soon as I make some progress. All right, thanks. This is Ron.